there's one thing that's gonna set you apart from everyone in your neighborhood. You could be cutting weekly, you can be using your string trimmer, your strimmer to get your edges. It's not quite the same as an edger. <laughs> or the rotary scissor. I mean, this combo right here, this is the team. This is the dream team right here. Okay, these are attachments to the Ego multi-head tool. It's amazing. I love this guy. I mean, the com this combo right here, this is for like if you haven't edged in a while, so you can go back and forth. And then this right here is for when it's already pretty pretty much clean and done. Because you don't, you don't want to be using this for heavy duty. This is for like aesthetic purposes, right? And cutting low. This way, you're cutting low, matching your low cuts. And then this way, you're edging on an already edged, nice clean edge. As you can see, I have some pretty bushy edges right now. In the summertime, I let them grow out a little bit. That way, the heat is attacking the bushy and not creeping towards the actual turf, because I hate that. I hate edging in the summer, and all of a sudden, things just start turning brown. And I'm gonna show you guys a trick as well towards the middle of the video on how to keep the edges from actually turning brown. Yep, those are... Those are overdue. We're gonna have some cooler days here. I'm gonna go ahead and edge now while it's cool so we can catch up so it doesn't get, a, get away from us. Like I said, for the stuff that has gotten away and just gotten bushy, I like to do it with this first. Let's just attach this. And it has a wheel, which is great. There we go. Very simple. So simple. Let me get the battery. Now, you can use a string trimmer. It just doesn't get the edge right. Yeah, you can. I, I'm not gonna doubt it because it works, obviously. You see the pros do it all the time, and that's what they're using. Most pros I see, they bust out an edger like this. They go back and forth. They just get the edge super sharp, and then, you know, eventually, maintenance-wise, you can just use a strimmer. The trick is hooking and finding the edge first. The nice thing is most of these cookie-cutter homes, residential, the edge is already here. You can see it. So you just follow that and go all the way through. Let's test her out. Wanna move my feet? Wanna drop my one? 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 Wanna move my feet? Thank you. You look like an artificial glass snake. Touch it, it's so soft. <laughs> look at that. Woo! Yeah. Like my butt. Damn! <laughs> See you, Sally. Okay, after you do this, you get a couple passes, everything's looking sharp, everything's looking tight. Sometimes I'll sweep it up. If it's too bad, or if it's like super muddy, just sweep it up. In this case, I'm just gonna blow it in the street, and then into the alley, and then into the... <laughs> We're gonna let it decompose. Use your blower. Get yourself a blower, okay? Check this out. Yes, sir. Now, you're gonna have a couple stragglers, and 
that's what I use the rotary scissor for, or I just use this little tool. I use this weed puller. So this weed puller would just grab all the stragglers. See it? I like this little tool because you're also getting like the cracked grass. <laughs> so super useful. You're gonna have some stragglers along the way. I mean, the blade's super sharp. Sometimes the roots are deeper than what you have your edger set to. So get the, get the tool out. a good edge so when I say go three times the first one's straight the second one you're leaning more towards the concrete and then the third one you're leaning a little bit towards the grass you're gonna pick up more of those stragglers okay I'm gonna blow it off so you guys can see how sharp this is That time we're not getting as much stragglers because we did the three passes. Again, one straight, one towards the concrete, and then angle it towards the grass. You can't beat that. Let's finish up. Now one towards the grass. And the alley's not our property, but at the same time, it's like two minutes, clean it up. It makes your property look nicer too. So I blew a lot of the material onto the canopy itself. So that's a good time to bag it and mow. We're gonna do that after, but we're gonna get the main lawn. And since I do the main lawn more often and edge more often, we're just gonna use the rotary scissor. It's the best tool. It's the best tool. The rotary scissor is more for matching the edges like these right here to your uh, short head of cut. I'm cutting at 7 16 which, which is under half an inch, it's crazy. So I have to have something that'll match the edges at 7 16 and the rotary scissor does it really well. Now, I do edge this a lot, so I don't need to use the edger, I can use the rotary scissor. Now, warning, if you turn the rotary scissor upside down and edge, you gotta be careful with getting the shell of the rotary scissor hitting the concrete. Eventually that's gonna wear down and then it's gonna open up your case. Oil and grease is gonna get everywhere. You don't want that. So maybe in the future we'll do like a, a hack where we maybe uh, weld a, like a metal plate on there. That way it can actually drag. So that'll be in the future. But for now, let's just knock this out real quick. Let's go ahead and take the ego edger off. And put on our rotary scissors. Delicious. Now to sharpen these, all you gotta do is put some rubbing compound and then turn it on and then tighten it down. <laughs> 
super simple. And then make sure you grease it every 10 hours. Put some grease here and here, easy. Everything's just super sharp, super tight. I mean, it's sharp, sharp. That's how you get professional edges. You know what I mean? Now, we're gonna turn this guy flat on the ground to get this right here. I'll show you up close in a second. You'll notice I haven't done these in about two or three days. Since I'm pumping a bunch of nitrogen into the lawn, it's gonna grow fast. It's gonna grow super fast. It grows like crazy right now. And I put a little bit of ammonium sulfate in there as well, so it's definitely gonna grow. So the height difference is different. The string trimmer doesn't get it as, as close. I've tried it, it just messes up the turf on the edges. And everyone's like, just take out the bricks. Just have a, a natural edge. Well, it's all preference, I like the bricks. I think it makes, it accents the, the house. <laughs> so let me show you what I'm talking about and we'll go ahead and uh, show you putting the rotary scissor flat to match the canopy. Okay, well that's it for edging guys. We're gonna mow. I'm gonna use the Rotary Ego to mow the sidewalk strips. And I'm gonna go at the lowest setting on the edges where we just cut, so it sucks everything up. After we do that, I'm gonna show you a trick that I use to make sure the water actually goes down into the problem areas where you're starting to notice the edges go brown. It's because water's not getting into, it's just kind of flowing off to the curb. So I'll show you a cool trick that I use I've never really shown it just because it's like, who wants to watch that? But we're on the topic anyways now, so let's make it happen. But as you can see, we are sharp AF. You know what AF is? Google it. <laughs> looking good, looking good. Okay. You know what, I'll just show you the, the trick now because I'll just go do it real quick. This right here is a manual edger. Now what I'm noticing is on the edges, the edge of the concrete and the dirt is just pressed up against it. So we're just gonna move it around, that way water can go through. And I'll show you the water after we do this. So let me post up and show you. Now you can see right here, the dirt is literally just pressed up against, right? So we're gonna go ahead and edge and just dig deep. Literally just putting room in between 
concrete and the dirt. Right? Look at that. Now water can go in. See here, it just goes there. So now it goes all the way through. Some allergy medicine real quick doing tutorials with allergies is the worst but see now you have a super duper nice edge that's gonna get a lot of water in there right because you're just moving it back and forth and creating like a little little ditch for water to just hang out and keep that moist as you can see it's turning a little bit brown why I'm watering but it's running off the edge. It's not gonna run off anymore. So we'll do that later after I mow. So yeah, this was the secret. Do this guys, for your edges to keep them extra nice and moist. That should help. <laughs> Woo! I'm just gonna knock out the rest. never hurt nobody let's go ahead and get our mow on this is gonna be good then we're just gonna water no products today just water I'm so excited I mean, look at how crisp that is. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's funny because when I first started doing lawn care <laughs> I would literally be like how the heck are they going all the way down on a rotary mower and it's green <laughs> it's all the way down it's not even touching because this is at what is it seven uh seven sixteenths seven sixteenths seven sixteenths <laughs> oh okay let's get a quick real mow in and then we're gonna water and then that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. Really? Look at just how nice that cut is. Oh my.
Yeah. I think 7 sixteenths for all these grass types. I mean, there's fescue in here. There is TTTF. There is Kentucky 31. There is a lot of perennial rye, a lot of bluegrass, but 7 sixteenths. If I go to 3 eighths, you're gonna see a ton of crowns. This is flawless right now. This is ridiculous looking at this height. 7 sixteenths, this green, in, and it's about to start summer. <sighs> Look at this. Hudson Star. That's too expensive, it's just a push mower. Uh, it's a greens mower. Don't get it twisted. That's a greens mower, baby. <laughs> okay, let's get this side. You can't beat that. I mean, that's 7 sixteenths. Look at that. Dark. Like dark, dark. Hey, look. Luba's in the back. Hey. <laughs> okay. Once you start cutting short, there's no going back. I mean, there's no going back. Why would you want to go higher? See, we have dialed down the art of under half an inch and looking dark. Look at that, 7 sixteenths, guys. Let me double check, make sure I'm not BSing you. Yeah, 7 sixteenths. The next one is 3 eighths. 7 sixteenths, huge. That's a huge milestone. And it's dark. And we're about to frickin' water. We're gonna test out the edges in the water. Hudson Star. It's not just a 2000 plus dollar green uh, push mower. This is a specialty mower, totally worth it. I'm not sponsored by them, I'm not affiliated, you know me. You can tell when I'm sponsored. <laughs> I start I start saying all the company jargon, right? <laughs> Hudson Star has been around since 1953. <laughs> no, we're not sponsored. This is just purchased and it's it's amazing. I just love it. Why do you think I'm using it so much? I'm literally using this one only because it's the only one that can handle this height of cut and not scalp anything. Amazing. Okay, let me blow this off. Let me drink some more coffee and let's get to watering and see these edges get some water in those pockets. This is fun, guys. Thanks for watching. Be right back. It just feels so good to have a cut and edged, fully cut and edged. I'm gonna bust out the drone for you guys too. Oh boy. Sky cam. Just a little Mavic Mini. It's even the old one, but it shoots 2.7K. So it still gives you that crispy footage. That crispy footage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, let's get some crispy footage for y'all. Sorry, I'm blocking your view. It's a little windy, but we'll make it work. Ooh, it's hella windy, bro.
<laughs> uh. I'm getting freaking surgical with this little shit right here. Okay, well, it's raining, so I'm gonna water just a little bit to show you guys the edges. Uh, I think it's gonna rain on us, but we just, you know, it's getting, it's still, it's getting a little brown. So we might as well just give it a little water time. That's what happens. This, this grass is, I'm telling you, perennial rye, mostly perennial rye, even bluegrass, super needy. Why do I like needy things? <laughs> Telling you it starts looking crispy because it doesn't have water and it's just like dude why are you being so needy it just wants to be drenched oh guys no wonder it's not working see that's why you gotta test your shit out look at that it's not on you know what's crazy thank god it's been raining because the water was off. No wonder why it's freaking brown. I fertilized and I, I didn't water. Oh my gosh. No wonder why it's turning a little crispy. That's insane. That's insane. See, Turf Titan Hydro Holder, Drought Defender. I mean, it works. If you accidentally forget to water for a couple days, Game over. Game over. It's a little crispy. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little crispy right here. I think we got a little bit of fertilizer burn, to tell you the truth. Got a little fertilizer burn. And that's okay, because we're getting water now. And you know it's gonna pop tomorrow. Well, my dudes, that's how you edge. That's how I edge, at least. Edge like pros. And you saw from above, sky cam. I'm just gonna douse the edges with the water coming from the other faucet and you can just can. Let's do that right now before we sign off. No wonder these edges are getting crispy. The water was off. Come on, bro. Thank God we have all these hot turf titan products down or else we would have been screwed. I was out here really wondering, why is it not as green as, as it should be? <laughs> Look at this. Oh yeah, baby. That's soaking it up so nice. That... No crispy edges for us. Look at that, it can, it can even go even more. Lovely. <laughs> Game changer. Couple days relying on just the rain. <laughs> Hell no. Well, we, at least we figured it's because when I did the pressure wash video, uh, I freaking turned it off. It's okay. That's what all these products are for. So if we skip a beat, it helps us. Plus I needed that anyways, right? Let it soak in. Here's the backpack, looking decent. I'm gonna let it grow out for a couple of days. This has been watered, so that's good. Okay, my dudes, now you know how I edge. Super simple, super easy. I use a traditional edger, and then I use a rotary scissor, and I use a manual edger to get them edges, just in case you have crispy brown, so you give the soil and the concrete some space. It's like they're breaking up for a little bit, right? I mean, eventually it's gonna push back in. So you gotta do that at least, you know, weekly during the summer, every two weeks during the summer. You guys are the best, thanks for watching. I'm teaching you the things that I actually do. Yeah, my dudes, have a good week, seriously. Positive vibes, good week. I'm gonna find out, you know, I'm gonna find stuff to do. You guys will have content for sure. But I'm having a blast out here because the grass is looking good. 
And at least we know the summertime protection's working when you accidentally don't turn on your sprinklers. <laughs> Oh man, I was gonna say, why is it, why is it a little crispy? Crossed arms, insecure, why is it a little crispy? <laughs> you guys are the best. We'll catch you in the next video. Back it easy.